What is going on with you guys? The Cali Effect King of Games here. And today, I'm going to be showing you why Orcus is a top meta deck. This deck is meta if not hit by the Forbidden List, but worry not. Even if it is hit by the Forbidden List, there are so many ways to play Orcus, so many ways for it to be dominant. With the new 2020 Mega Tens coming out, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon does add another wrinkle to the strategy. In one and a half cards, we can go full Orcus combo with a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, but we can also do so much more. The top contending meta decks, one can make some huge combo and just psh, 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 and you guys get what I'm, they just explode with one combo. Orcus can pretty much do the exact same thing. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how. So let's jump on in. So starting off with the monsters, we run three copies of Gearsu, the Orcus Mech Knight. Looking through my deck, this is actually, yeah, this is probably the most expensive card in the strategy that you need a must play card. When it is normal summon, you can send one Orcus or World Legacy card from your deck to your graveyard and get your combo started. And then if it's the only monster on your side of the field, you can spell summon a token to both players' side of the field. This card is so important to the strategy because it is your Armageddon Knight and your Dark Griffer in the form of an Orcus monster. Next, we do play three copies of Orcus Nightmare. This is pretty standard in any Orcus deck. It allows you to send a Dark Machine monster from the deck to the graveyard and then give one of the monsters on your side of the field or on the field attack equal to its level. Two copies of Orcus Simple Skeleton. This card's really good for being able to, I don't know, special summon freak Orcus monsters to your side of the field. And one copy of Orcus Brass Bombard. This card is a lot better than what players give it credit for. Not only does it allow you to play through hand traps, I'm strongly considering on playing more copies of it, it's really important for our combo, which makes one card full Orcus combo as well as a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, so don't sleep on Orcus Bass Bombard. It might orchestrate your doom. Next, we finish up the standard Orcus engine with two copies of World Legacy World 1. That pretty much sums it all up. This is a free Dark Machine Special Summon and one copy of Gizmek Orochi Serpentine Sky Slasher. This card is really risky if you're going to play the Dragoon engine because you obviously don't want to use it and banish Dark Magician Red Eyes Black Dragon or Red Eyes Fusion, but other than that, its card is free. Everything else is really vanishable with this card. Moving on, our starting engine is going to be Jet Synchron. If you guys have counted, we run six normal summons inside of this deck, but it's okay. Drawing Jet Synchron in Gearsu is actually another full combo, and I'll be able to show you guys in the combo tutorial of this video. Moving forward, I just, to be honest with you guys, you don't have to play the Red Eyes Dragoon engine, but let's look at this sauce. Boy, that is a sexy Red Eyes B-Dragon and Dark Magician. I had to play it for the flex because we too strong. I'll be able to explain some budget or alternative options for the people that can't afford Red Eyes Dragoon or maybe don't want to play it because it is an option to not play this card. But next, we're going to move on to the Hand Traps. The reason why this deck is so good is because with one card, you can go full Orcus combo. A lot of times, you can go full Orcus combo with Red Eyes Dragoon. You should have four other cards in your hand at the end of your sequence, which makes this deck so great. And the fact that you have so much graveyard management, you'll just win. We run three copies of Effect Veiler. This card is not a hard one per turn, and it counters Predator for Anaconda. But the most important thing is that it's not a hard one per turn. Having multiple copies of Effect Veiler is a win situation. We play two copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. Personally, I don't think Ash is a great card, but it does a really good job of being an overall uh, form of negation and two copies of Fantastical Dragon Phantasma. Now, part to me really wanted to drop both the Ash Blossoms and the Fantasticals for the Cyframe Gear Gamma package, and it's still a really good package in case you want to run it. Those are really effective hand traps in the current Yu-Gi-Oh card game, but the theory of this deck was to make that one card combo and then the rest of my cards be hand trapped to help stab my opponent. I can't necessarily do that if I have monsters on my side of the field. Another thing is that I actually wound up dropping Allure of Darkness for Fantastical Dragon because this card lets you out cards like Infinite Impermanence and Effect Veiler as well as shuffle cards like, I don't know, Dark Magician or Red Eyes back into your deck. So it was a really, really good card and I think that players underestimated. Of course, I'm rocking those supers because, I don't know, they just look really good. 
Moving on to the spells, three copies of Tuning. That actually is a really important card. I didn't know how important Jet Synchron was, but uh, yeah, getting into it is extremely important. I wanted to actually play Quick Draw Synchron Monster, or Quick Draw Synchron, because Quick Draw Synchron plus any monster additionally is full Orcus combo, so that was pretty cool, but I went against it because I just didn't have the room. Next is two copies of Call by the Grave. Now, Call by the Grave is a monster card. So I want to point out that the first thing called by the grave does stop cards for, or stop cards like Ash Blossom and Effect Veiler. We should all know that. But someone actually pointed out on my How to Beat Red Eyes Dark Dragoon video. If you guys want to find out how to beat Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, then go ahead and click on that annotation that Red Eyes Dark Dragoon becomes Red Eyes B Dragon when you use the effect yes of red eyes fusion so you can call by the grave red eyes be dragon in response to your opponent using dragoon and you you pretty good that, that that's real good and it stops hand traps next is two copies of world legacy succession this is for lip and it's a free extender one foolish burial one red eyes fusion one monster reborn one orchestrated return and one orchestrated babble that's going to sum up the spells for the traps we run three copies of infinite impermanence i understand if you guys cannot afford infinite impermanence if you can't just play more ashes or ogres or whatever it doesn't really matter just a hand trap to help you this actually does kind of conflict with thanos so if you guys do want to play other hand traps with thanos then you might just be in the good side and then one copy of orcus crest because that card is too strong that is it for the entire main board this orcus deck i'm telling you i'll be able to show you the combos you are going to love it moving on to the orcus extra deck this is a 13 card orcus extra deck i do have options as well as budget options and just alternative choices and that's what makes orcus so powerful because even when the forbidden list does drop we still have so, more, so many more combos one thing that you guys may have noticed is that i don't play the scrap engine like cali this is like some unspeakable thing well playing the scrap engine would put me up to nine normal summons that would be sort of a problem technically 12 normal summons with three copies of tuning didn't want to do that and while the scrap recycler combo is super good it's also really fragile and also a telltale sign of which you're playing if i summon jet synchron my opponent's normally going to allow me to resolve the effect of haclofibrix thinking that they'll just negate the link cross if i am allowed to resolve haclofibrix and i just so happen to have extenders in hand like i don't know orcus monsters then that orcus brass bombard becomes an immediate extender and allows me to still go combo even with mech gear suit players might think that i'm playing mech knight tech they might think that i'm playing generator there's actually so many more decks that run mech knight gear suit they're more prompted to actually let those effects go through and then once you get your combo going it's kind of too late to be stopped i'm not saying the scrap recycler engine by any means is bad a couple of hits on the forbidden list will make us go right back to the scrap recycler engine which isn't bad it's really good but i want to be as least hand trapped as possible and i know they won't stop the hockla fabrics more often than not moving on to the extra deck one copy of access code talker this card can be your boral load boral sword dragon one lord girsu one lib two galtea this girl is so good one copy of my anaconda don't my anaconda okay i'll stop one copy of hakla fibrix one union carrier one link cross one link Kribo. now i know you guys are seeing hakla fibrix and link cross and thinking it's full synchro combo it's not i do run the red eyes dragoon the formula synchron and the dengirsu I don't run full synchro combo, but Link Cross and Hakla Fabrics are important for the combo I'll be able to show you to be able to consistently be able to get full Orcus combo with your Red Eyes Dragoon. Another thing that I do want to mention is that you don't have to play Red Eyes Dragoon. You can drop out both Dark Magician, uh, Red Eyes, uh, the Red Eyes Fusion, and of course the Red Eyes Dragoon, and the Predoblant Vert Anaconda if you wanted to, and you can play Dengirsu, IP Mascarena, Apollosa, Nightmare Unicorn, or Topologic Transmana. You can literally play whatever you want. I just thought it was really cool that this deck could summon Red Eyes Dark Dragoon on the way to full Orcus combo, and since this card is the spice of the week, why not make a really good deck that abuses it? So in the combo sequence, I'm going to be showing you an insane combo that can use both IP Mascarena, Apollosa, the Bogardus, or the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon route, it's up to you. Let's actually just jump into the combo though. That's much better. I know you guys get to see a sexy young face up close. And of course, you guys can see more of it if you destroy that subscribe button. No, that wasn't a ploy to get you to hit the subscribe button, but you could always do that. In this quick combo session, I'm going to show you the importance of Jet Synchron, why we run cards like multiple copies of Tuning. Jet Synchron plus any Orcus card equals four cards in hand while also having a Dragoon on board and, of course, the full Orcus combo in Gearsu in Graveyard. So the rest of your hand can be hand traps, which is why we load our hand with hand traps 
it's freaking phenomenal. In this particular combo situation, I'm actually going to include two normal summons in the deck. This is actually perfect. This You couldn't ask for more. Any Orcus Monster plus Jet Synchron or any Extender plus Jet Synchron is full combo. I'm going to go ahead and start off by normal summoning Jet Synchron. We're going to use it for a Link. Link Kribo is going to be the card of choice. And then you're going to use the effect of Jet Synchron to push the Gearsu. Summon the Jet Synchron back to your side of the field. We're now going to link both the Link Kribo and the Jet Synchron off. You link summon into Kristron Hucklefibrix. Hucklefibrix effect will trigger to be able to special summon an Orcus monster from the or a tuner monster from the deck to the side of the field. We're going to special summon Brass Bombard. It does not matter. It doesn't matter what zone you put the Brass Bombard into. Link off the Kristron Hucklefibrix. We're going to make Link Cross. That is one bad puppy. Using the effect of Link Cross, we'll special summon two tokens to our side of the field. Really important we get those two tokens. We'll tribute off one of the tokens to be able to special summon Link Kribble to our side of the field. Keep in mind it is a special summon, not a Link summon. But since both of these monsters are Cybers, we'll use them for a Link. We'll make Union Carrier. Using Union Carrier's effect, targeting our Orcus Brass Bombard, we will equip an Orcus card from our deck to it. This time around, since I do have Gearsu in Graveyard, I'm going to equip the Orcus Symbol Skeleton. Now, depending on what situation you are in, you're going to equip different Orcus monsters. As long as you have a way to summon two monsters to your side of the field, one of them being Orcus, you have four Orcus combo, whether it's the Gizmic Orochi, maybe you want to play Dangers into your deck, or you just so happen to draw that, this and another Orcus, you have full combo. So now I'm going to Synchro the Orcus Brass Bombard and our token. We're going to Synchro Summon into Formula Synchron using its effect to draw a card. We're going to draw the infinite impermanence. That's going to be four disruption. That's really optimal. The show's over right now. That's all we needed. Four disruptions. We win the game, right? No, unfortunately for our opponent, we're going to take it steps further. I now, since I do have the Gearsu in graveyard, I'll use the symbol skeleton to spell summon the Gearsu. I'm locked into darks for the rest of the turn. Gearsu's effect will trigger. I'll send Orcus Nightmare for the deck to the graveyard. And then I will link the Formula Synchron and the Gearsu. We'll make Galatea Orcus of Automation. I use Automation's effect to shuffle in the Jet Synchron. It's a machine monster and that's what makes it so dope. I don't have to shuffle in a Symbol Skeleton or a Nightmare or whatever. I'm gonna set and activate the Orchestrated Babble. Next, I am going to use Orchestrated Nightmare's effect. We'll send World Legacy World 1. World Wands effect will special summon the Orcus Nightmare. Keep in mind, we can't special summon the Symbol Skeleton, but it's okay. We have a way to get it back into our graveyard. We'll use Galatea for a link. We will make Din Girsu, and now we'll use Din Girsu's effect. We'll attach the Symbol Skeleton. Din Girsu and Orcus Nightmare will be used for a link. Now, depending on what you are playing, if you guys are playing the IP Mascarena Appaloosa route, then you'll go ahead and special link summon into the IP Mascarena, and your end board is going to be a disruption with Din Girsu uh, through the effect of Symbol Skeleton. You can send a dark machine monster through the effect of Nightmare, which is probably going to be your Gizmek Orochi, and you'll also be able to make that Appaloosa preemptively with two disruptions and whatever additional disruptions you have in hand. I have four disruptions this time which is one of the most optimal ways I'll have six ways to stop my opponent but let's say we're not going into the IP Mascarena we'll go ahead and make the Predator Plant Vert Anaconda Vert effect we'll send Red Eyes Fusion from our deck to the graveyard that will combine our Red Eyes B Dragon and our Dark Magician you gotta say it will be Dark Magician we will fusion summon into Red Eyes Dark Dragoon and in this particular situation, we have Negates with Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. We have Infinite Impermanence, Double Veiler, and Ash Blossom. I'm going to go ahead and set the Infinite Impermanence. And Ash Blossom is probably going to be card I'm going to discard with Dragoon because Effect Veiler is a little bit more stronger in this format. The cool thing about this particular combo is that even in this particular stage, we still have so many exten extensions. We have the Orcus Nightmare, like I was saying before, that can send Gizmek Orochi from the deck to the graveyard. And we still have the Dengirsu Disrupt with Orcus Symbol Skeleton banishing itself. It can summon Dengirsu to the side of the field. We'll also banish the eight cards to be able to special summon our Gizmek which none of these matter at all. We already have everything uh, pretty much done for us. On our opponent's turn, after we used all our hand traps and whatever to stop our opponent, we can go ahead and link the Union Carrier and the Predator Plant Vert into an access code talker, which allows us to destroy one, two, three cards in our opponent's side of the field. 
and this should be enough to attack for game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed White Orcus could be the next meta deck if not touched by the Forbidden List. It was extremely fun to make an Orcus deck profile and regardless what happens on the Forbidden List, Orcus can still be a top contending deck. If you guys are struggling with the Red Eyes Dragoon matchup, then I strongly suggest you check out this video. It will show you how to beat that matchup and almost everything you need to know about Red Eyes Dragoon itself. As always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll catch you on the next video.